In recent decades, Piraeus and the wider Athens area have evolved as a leading maritime centre, complementing Greece's international leadership in world shipping. This analysis attempts to decipher the unique characteristics of this geographical area as an international ship management centre. The research findings are based on the most recent edition of the Greek Shipping Directory, which presents data up until April 2022. The analysis was undertaken by the research team of Naftika Chronika, Manos Charitos and Yanis Theodoropoulos, with the scientific advisory of Professor Ioannis Theotokas from the University of Piraeus. There are 563 reported ship management companies in Piraeus and the Greater Athens area that manage 5,191 vessels with a capacity bigger than 1,000 GRT. 75% of them manage bulk carriers or tankers and 84 companies manage diversified fleets. At this point, it should be clarified that the analysis concerns the number of companies and not the shipping groups that may include more than one company. Obviously, a limited number of these companies belong to wider ship management groups. The distribution of the fleet by ship type highlights the leading role of bulk shipping for the development of Piraeus as an international ship management centre. 82% of the fleet's vessels are either bulk carriers or tankers. Of the 2,573 bulk carriers, a significant percentage are vessels of large size, as 52% of them are either Cape size or Panamax vessels. The same goes for tankers. Of the 1,670 tankers in the fleet, 51% are VLCCs, Suez Maxis or Afra Maxis. 9% of the fleet are container ships, while 6% are gas carriers. Of the gas carriers, both LNG carriers and LPG carriers occupy 3% of the total fleet. The distribution of the fleet by age group shows the strong rate of the fleet's renewal. The companies that manage the fleet under review are constantly investing in younger ships. Almost 4 out of 10 ships of the fleet are up to 10 years old. At the same time, less than 1 in 10 ships is more than 20 years old. Almost 90% of the ships of the fleet are registered under 6 flags, while the remaining vessels are registered under 32 flags. The distribution of the fleet, based on the country of construction, highlights South Korea as the dominant shipbuilding country, having built 34% of the ships in the fleet. Significant percentages are held by both China and Japan. 29% of the fleet ships have been built in the shipyards of each country. Conclusively, South Korea, Japan and China have constructed 92% of the fleet's vessels. Of particular interest is the distribution of the fleet by type of ship and by age group. One in three bulk carriers has been delivered between 2012 and 2016. One in five tankers has been delivered between 2017 and 2022. More than one in two LNG carriers has been delivered between 2017 and 2022. Thus, shipbuilding interest in LNG carriers has grown significantly in recent years. As already mentioned, the top three shipbuilding countries are South Korea, China and Japan. South Korea specializes heavily in tankers, while China and Japan focus on bulk carriers. 41% of bulk carriers have been built in Japanese shipyards, while 39% of them were constructed in Chinese shipyards. It can be said that the rivalry between the two countries in bulk carrier shipbuilding was particularly intense, with Japan prevailing in the past and China gaining an advantage in more recent years. Concerning tankers, South Korea plays a leading role, since more than one in two tankers in the fleet have been built there. At the same time, more than nine out of ten LNG carriers and more than one in two LPG carriers have been built in South Korea.